nine for Edwards, trolling control, round number two. Ten nine for Edwards, Edwards another big elbow. And more superior head positioning in the clinch, the overhook, always overhook, bam, right away. Heads on the lower level underneath that jaw. Um, so good job in the clinch, except when he's against the cage. He needs to work on that. Uh, Cowboy, another lead sidekick to the body. After receiving a growing kick, Edwards flips the bird outside the cage and lands a nasty liver kick at the restart. 40 left in the round. Um, that liver kick, and then a few seconds later, and left knee to the liver. Beautiful again, landed a lot of those. Cerrone lands head kick. Edwards rolls with it, looks to the, the referee going inside his glove, and it seemed like it was fake. I, I watched the replay, watched the replay, didn't I? Like, I actually rewinded it and uh, couldn't see it. But then between rounds, uh, the truck got it on a different camera angle, and Cerrone cheated. <laughs> he purposely cheated. He held inside his glove to keep him from backing out the distance to land the head kick on the way out, the break from the clinch. Um, yeah, total purposeful. Cheat there, landed it <laughs> by Cerrone. So, hey, good for you, brother. Um, round number three. Uh, big straight left by Edwards at the start of the round. Another good left knee delivered by Edwards. 355 left. Now, this is the kind of thing that I could do if I had uh, a show somewhere where I could get the UFC footage and show these things that are simply missed by everybody. 355, someone jiff it out there, okay? Uh, if, if, if you can do that, and I'm not recommending you still, you know, I don't get UFC's permission. Someone give me the clout to get UFC's permission, or ESPN's permission to get UFC's permission. Chael Sonnen calling some favors. Um, Dana White, hook a brother up. Whatever. 355 left. Beautiful leg kick check from Southpaw. Bang! Landing into a jab. Cracks his head back like a Pez dispenser then. Bang! Bang! 1-2. Machina style blitz combo. I got a video on that too somewhere. Um, yeah, I got a couple videos on that. Anyway, got videos and everything. Okay, so breaking the um, big uppercut by Cowboy was also landed in there, but that sequence was so beautiful by Edwards. You guys need to see it. You need to see it. Someone's got to show it. Um, uh, good. Uh, they showed the two punch um, at the end of the fight, but they didn't show the check jab right before it. It was right before it, so that was a beautiful sequence. Um, good elbow 210 by Edwards from the break. Always breaking in the clinch with the left elbow. Landing tons of them. Uh, good, good plan, game plan by him, by the way. And uh, another big left by Edwards, 22 seconds left in. Called the elbow, but I think it was actually a punch. Round number four, um, so again, 10 9. All rounds so far 1, 2, and 3. 10 9. Two Edwards, in my opinion. We'll get to what the judges did later. Uh, round number four, Edwards, first two minutes, lands four. Four oblique kicks. Chasse Boss style, sweeping Chasse Boss style to the legs. I'll put up my, somewhere over here, my teaching the oblique kick back in 2011 video. Um, and around that time, also the Machido, when Machido was supposed to fight Jones, I showed how to defend the knee kick. So, sorry fighters out there that suddenly think knee kicks are illegal when they've always been okay other than in California when the commission still knew it, allowed it because it was UFC and the fighter didn't know and the fight got stopped. Anyway, um, knee kicks are allowed, dude, and um, they should be because all you got to do is point your knee into it and you can even land a 2-3 right off of that or a long hook, long hook off of that. So uh, it's all about timing. It's all about perception, distance. Anyway, uh, four oblique kicks, man. Karate like he starts in the fourth round. This is his first time in the fourth round. He's actually increased the distance, most people wouldn't, wouldn't notice, in the fourth and fifth round. And you started using way more oblique kicks. Very smart because you're starting to go, man, I'm fighting a veteran that does good in the later rounds, and I don't know if my cardio is going to hold. Even if I'm in shape, you never quite know in the sport of MMA. It's different than kickboxing. It's aerobic, anaerobic, aerobic, anaerobic, aerobic, anaerobic. So um, that, that was probably pre-planned or just good fight IQ by Edwards. Um, he, uh, he then lands a good left high kick after those oblique kicks. Cerrone lands another lead side kick to the body, starts hopping in with those. And uh, a couple uh, a couple left hands and liver kick in the next, min next minute by Edwards. And then Edwards messed up. 
against the cage. So on the clinch, he's doing well in the open, but against the cage, he messes up. This first mess up. Messes up uh, trying a Kosoto Gaki on the overhook side against the cage, outside leg reap, when pressing its cage and, and so many counters. Boom, he ends up on his butt. Guard for a second, but quickly bounces back up. That shouldn't count for anything. Both exchange round kicks to the leg. One high attempt at the end of the round. No big deal there. Definitely 10-9 towards Edwards. It should have been. It should have been. We'll get to that later. Round number five. First minute Edwards, two more oblique kicks. Sweeping Shasley Bao style. And that's a bot, by the way. Also using Wing Chun, Filipino martial arts, some karate styles. Cowboy one lead sidekick. Also, guys, even amateur survive, it's been allowed for years, and no, there's not all these fighters that have these horrible, oh my god, you broke my leg, I can never fight again injuries. Shut up, you dweebs. It's been in Savat forever, even amateur. Okay? They use it all the time. They use that kick a lot, and lead sidekicks the leg. So, again, I said it before, all you MMA experts and analysts, a sidekick is not the same as an oblique kick. Nor is it Joe Rogan I like, but two pay-per-views in a row, since it happened two in a row, I called him out and we started calling it an elliptical kick all of a sudden. Which would be an elliptical, as I'm very, you know, uh, maybe I'm the accountant or something, but an elliptical would be like this. It's not a sweep, pendulum, motion, or a chamber, and then piston, chasse boss, G, G direct motion. Two different ways you can do it. It's not either of those. Called him out on the underground forum, which both of us bothered to used to visit before we went way downhill. And um, called him out, and people were like bad with me, like usual, and like crap. And then actually, Rogan got on there, um, who I rolled with for two, two and a half years. Um, and so, you know, knew me pretty well and what I'm capable of. And um, Often would say, I'm very nice, very strong, and this time he goes, no, Dan's very knowledgeable, and yes, he's correct on this. It's an oblique kick. And I've even heard Bisping and all these people repeating it in the studio. All these guys and most of the commentators calling it a sidekick than an oblique kick. It's not. So call it an oblique kick, guys. Um, anyway, enough of that rant. So, do, 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 140 left. Edwards makes a second mistake when clinched against the cage with the back against the cage again. By kind of knee shielding, not really a Muay Thai knee shield this way, but kind of single leg up there. Basically, you don't do that in MMA. I call that wounded crane stance. Wounded crane stance never works out good. Sorry, Cobra Kai. Love ya. Sorry, Daniel LaRusso. Even if you were kind of an instigating little schmuck got me into martial arts and ruined my life. But you don't want to do wounded crane stance. This is MMA, not kickboxing after all. And Donald Cowboy Cerrone makes him pay for that with a right attempted outside leg trip to left outside leg trip. Good follow-up by him. Going side to side. Boom, nails him down. Bam, in a half guard. Um, they're down there for about 40 seconds. Edwards, 140 left in the round. One minute left in the round. Edwards wall walks back up. Uh, I have a video on eight get-ups from... The ground which you should really look at and uh, basically he ran he ran most of that round he really did cowboy knew it it wasn't totally obvious but pretty obvious to an experienced eye he ran a bit in the round and luckily the judges did see that so definitely 49 46 in my opinion to edwards all three judges had it 48 47 which i instantly thought means they all incorrectly gave cowboy the fourth round for that quick takedown to about four seconds of control um the th Actually, two judges did exactly what I thought, and a third inexplicably got both third and fourth rounds wrong, switched, going against what I thought, going against what the two other judges thought. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is really the technical stuff that you missed. If you're one of the kind of geek like me, or you just want to moan more, if you're a, a better... Um, this is the stuff to pay attention to. If you're a coach, if you're a young fighter, this is the stuff to pay attention to, which separates you from the crowd. So check out some of my videos, guys. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Hit me up on Twitter if you friggin' disagree at Dan the Wolfman. And, uh, you know, maybe one day one of these uh, places like ESPN or, or one of these uh, big media outlets uh, will give me a show since, you know, I'm not just a blue belt in jiu-jitsu uh, with my nose in the air that I actually do kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I was only a 50-50 fighter, but I fought some of the best guys in the world back in the day. 
and now I got four black belts, but I also sparred six to seven hundred at least what I can estimate top MMA fighters, guys that made it the UFC, Bellator, Strike Force, uh, WEC, uh, Ryzen, Pride, or One, basically. One of, the, one of those big orgs, um, you know, at least six to seven hundred guys over 20 years until I stopped sparring uh, top fighters after my Korean top team trip uh, about nine to 12 months ago. I kind of stopped as now I'm 41. And so, um, not that I still can occasionally, but you know, the body does kind of catch up to you. So, still got pretty big guns, even bigger than tailpiece sonnets. You know, when I lived in Westland, Oregon, I think it was a tie maybe for the baddest man in. Okay, he's the original gangster. I'll let him have Westland. I came to the south dealing with hicks and bikers right now, guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you want to see it. Let me know if you want to see this once a week. I'll try to get other events in there as well, and I will catch you on the flip side. Cheers, guys.